On this second day after Christmas, we celebrate my favorite of the Twelve Apostles. Hi, Father Kubicki here celebrating the Feast of St. John, who has traditionally been identified in John's Gospel as the disciple whom Jesus loved. Now, that doesn't mean that Jesus didn't love the other disciples. This is a good time for us to remember that there's a difference between liking someone and loving them. You don't have to like everybody to love them. And when Jesus said love one another, he wasn't saying that you had to work up a feeling of affection for everyone. Jesus himself liked some people more than others. And I'm sure there are some people that he just didn't like. But he loved everyone enough to die for everyone. That's true love. Not so much a feeling as a decision, a choice, an act of the will. And at the Last Supper, John lay his head on Jesus' chest and was so close to his Sacred Heart that he could hear and feel it beating. That gave him the strength and courage to be the only Apostle to stand under the cross with Mary and a few other faithful women. That's a great lesson for all of us. If we draw near to Jesus' heart, we will have the strength to face life's trials and tribulations. And where do we find that heart? In the Most Blessed Sacrament. That's what Pope John Paul said in his letter for the year of the Eucharist that we celebrated a few years ago. Listen to how he put it. The presence of Jesus in the tabernacle must be a kind of magnetic pole attracting an ever greater number of souls enamored of him, ready to wait patiently to hear his voice and, as it were, to sense the beating of his heart. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good.